Hey there. In this episode, I want to chat a little bit about overview and key core components that I'm putting together for the projects that I'm working on. Sharon Horry from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case you haven't met yet, go and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So that's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Or me. It's me on Pajama Grandma. Yes, I am in my blue jammies and my ducky robe. I don't know if you can see. I've got my ducky robe on today. One of my most cozy and favorite robes. Because I think it's important to be comfortable in what you're doing. Especially when you're doing creative work and thinking of creative things and that is usually the overview and the core principles and the core pieces of any project that you're doing. So I'm doing this Women's Summit as part of a One Funnel Away Challenge and actually not even as part of a One Funnel Away Challenge. I was doing the Women's Summit and then the One Funnel Away Challenge came up so I decided that would be the project that I create the marketing messages, the sales material, and the framework, the online presence and framework for during this challenge. So I've been working on that and the core themes and now I just thought of this morning is there a theme I could have to our event? I think that events with themes do better, but it's a matter of selecting and choosing the right theme. So I might have to ask that question. I might have to just pay attention to what women are attracted to and what they would like as a theme. For example, this One Funnel Away Challenge I'm going through has a Mission Impossible theme. That's a great theme for everybody, but I'm not trying to attract everybody of both sexes. I'm trying to work with a group of women, creating a women's summit, all women speakers for women business owners. So what appeals to women business owners, you know, probably isn't a mission impossible theme. So I'm going to try to think today of what would be a good overview theme. Now the number one challenge or problem or issue that came up as I asked people and surveyed them was the topic of getting clients. Now this is sort of a universal thing. More customers, more clients, more sales seems to be what every business needs, right? So how do we turn that? And I was going to have the main three themes as tracks for this summit, but I think I'm going to pull back and just do the getting clients, getting more customers, getting more patients, whatever it is for your business as the main focus. So the main track will be speakers speaking to that and sharing their systems and processes and procedures and strategies for helping people to get more clients, get more customers in the many different ways, because there's like a lot of different ways that you can get more customers and get more clients, right? Of course there are. So <clears throat> I think that will be the theme of this, the overarching goal and purpose of this Women's Summit is to teach women business owners how to get more clients. And then also, I say how to keep more clients. So how to get and how to keep more clients. And it's really simple, but we like to complicate it. So we'll probably have 30 to 60 speakers speaking on that topic so that the women business owners that participate in the summit and listen to the summit will have 30 to 60 different ways that they can go out and get clients. 30 to 60 proven ways that get results for people that they can use. They can pick and choose what feels right to them and then apply that to their business. So I'm, I'm thinking about that and framing that out. Yesterday, I put together a relaunch and an offer of a mastermind group that I did earlier this year. And it's time for a new group of people. It's time for a new group of mastermind students. And so I, I actually didn't do it as a funnel last time <clears throat> or an online presence. I did it as a promotion for with the book Expert Secrets. Now this time I'm rolling it out as a product offering and a course that has a live weekly mastermind component to it. And it's got a bunch of other things because of course I turned it into an offer. And I just was thinking this morning, I need to make three videos for that particular funnel. Otherwise the funnel's ready to go. But as I was thinking about it, I thought since I'm not doing a webinar, maybe what I need to do is take applications instead of just sending people to the offer page. I've got the videos and things, or maybe what I will do is I will do a mini perfect webinar on one of the videos, the video on the sales page, of course, presenting the offer. That's probably what I will do because I don't want to go through a bunch of applications. I'm so busy right now with, well, I've got three interviews today and tomorrow and Wednesday. So I'm doing between six and nine interviews every single week for my podcast. And as I ramp up for the Women's Summit, I'm probably going to be doing three to five a day to get everything together for the summit. 
So I need to find ways to fit other things into my schedule, including uh, my students and my coaching students. I have to take good care of them. But this is a good way to do that because it's a 60 day, uh, at least a 60 day, 60, le there's over 60 lessons, which have a worksheet and video, sometimes two videos to go with each of those lessons. So it's a, it, I've set it up as a 60 type plus day format to get people through and that's already created and ready to go. So people can go through that. And then all I have to do with respect to deliverables and commitment for that is the weekly mastermind call. And that I'm used to doing a, a weekly mastermind call anyway. So that will not be super difficult for me to deliver either. And I've already had a bunch of people go through it. So I know the kinds of questions and concerns and things that are going to come up at each of the different stages of going through that course and that program. So I need to make the videos for that today. But I washed my hair and although it doesn't look much better today, it uh, it was super stick out yesterday. So I wasn't going to make videos for a for a sales page that could be there for, you know, wh however long I want to keep them there. So I need to do that today. I also need to do the Mun Funnel Away Challenge. I've got some pieces of that that I thought I had done, but I totally missed that we should have already created our headlines for each of the components of the funnel that we're creating. So I will probably do a live demo, a live Facebook demo of how to walk through and how to use a tool called Funnel Scripts to come up with headlines and hooks for the different pieces of that particular project, that, that challenge that I'm doing. I also am doing my own challenge, the 30-day supersized business challenge that turned into the 60-day supersized business challenge. And as part of that, we've got a contest going on for people to share their strategies that worked and then those that didn't work. Um, and we're going to have contests today and tomorrow are the last two days for entering that contest. We've got over $25,000 in prizes. So it's kind of an exciting, fun contest. Um, so I'm working on that. What else have I got going on? That and then my personal life, right? <laughs> a little bit of personal life. So what are you working on today? What project are you excited about? What are you doing? Oh, and today's awesome day. So I will actually have to make my awesome video too, but I always wait till the sun comes up because I'm not that fond of going out in the dark. I think I did one in the dark last week actually, but I don't really like to go out in the dark and spin around. I get dizzy enough as it is, so I don't need darkness to, to knock me down. My goal this year of the awesome, my awesome challenge is to never fall down. So my goal is to always stand up and successfully spin as I do my I feel awesome challenge. I should probably write a little script for that, but I never have. I just go out and I yell I feel awesome and let the neighbors stare. So <laughs> because every day is an awesome day, every day above ground, awesome day. And if we keep telling ourselves we feel awesome, we're much more likely to feel great and good and better than we do if we tell ourselves anything else or anything less than being fantastic. So go out, make it an awesome day, and I'll be with you tomorrow with another installment in What's She Up To Now?